Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maggie Rose back with another nail video for you. Um, first of all, yes, I'm sitting outside in front of my garage door because it is really quiet out here and my kids are inside being all crazy. So figured I'd get out of the house to record this. Okay, so this is actually a first for me. Um, a company reached out to me and sent me their nail dip kit if I were to do an honest review on my YouTube video, on my YouTube channel for them. So this is my honest review of the Hmm, this is gonna sound funny because I don't know how to pronounce the name of their company, but it's written out as um, Una Booty. <laughs> I'll have it down here for you, but that's what it is on Amazon. So this is where I found it on Amazon, and I'll have a link for you in the description box below. And if you use the code, I think it's 10 Rose Crawl, but I'll have it written on the screen. If you use that code, you get 10% off of that order. And it's already pretty cheap. I think it's about 30 bucks for the kit. If you order through Revel, you'll get one powder for about like $33 or something for a kit. And the good thing about this kit is that it comes with six colors instead of just one for an entire kit for $30. I gotta say more, but I'll just like kind of go through it from start to finish as I did the manicure. But first of all, I wanted to show you guys what the manicure looks like with this Unibooty. <laughs> That just sounds so funny. So this is what the manicure looks like that I just recently did with this kit. And I did it a couple days ago, so there's a tiny bit of growth, but overall, it looks, gotta be honest guys, it looks banging. <laughs> I really like this man manicure. I think it looks really cute. I actually, this is the first time I've tried black, and I really like it. Well, especially with the black shirt, but you know. <laughs> and this glitter is to die for, guys. Like, there's like rainbow colors in there, and like hot pinks, and greens, and it's just a really pretty glitter. I haven't seen any glitters like this before, and I really like it with black. Um, and I also have like some other like dark purple colors from Revel that this glitter would look really good with, but I didn't want to mix and match for my first manicure. Although, Sorry, this is a lot of rambling, but I, although I did put a clear dip of Revel's clear coat on top of the glitter just so I wouldn't file off any of the pretty glitters. So I did use one color from Revel, but that's just to like encase the glitter of this um, brand. But I used all the liquids I used were from the Unibooty, <laughs> the Unibooty brand. I used all of their um, liquids. So as you can see right here, I did record myself doing this manicure with this product and it didn't seem much different as far as differences between Revel Nail, which is the company that I usually use, and this company. Um, the liquid felt very nice. The, the brush felt a little different. It didn't really feel like awkward or too hard or too soft. Like the brush felt fine. The only thing is the liquids are a little bit small, so you're gonna have to probably buy them more often. And I didn't see where you can buy just liquids. I think you have to buy a kit every time, but I could be wrong. I just haven't found the liquids yet and I've been looking for them because guys I love this brand's liquids you can see whenever we get to the end of this video and I'm just gonna say it now before we get there but their top coat is amazing there is no gel top coat on this manicure and it's that shiny like it's so shiny and there's no gel top coat it's just their regular top coat and it's amazing and when I was going through this process the powder seemed a little bit gritty to me as I was doing it but I think it's gritty like not really gritty it's more rough I guess so as I was dipping the powder it was a little bit rough but I think that's because you do the process a little bit differently for the Revel nail you would dip it and then you would put the activator on and then you would file and buff and then you would do another coat of activator and then you would do top coat. This would all make more sense if you've seen my nail tutorial, which I'll link for you here and below, but that's Revel Nails process, but then this company's process is you dip it, and then once you're done doing all of your coats of the dip, then you file before you activate. So you file your nails first, and then you use the activator. And after you're done letting the activator sit for like a full two minutes, then you go in with two different coats of the top coat. And I didn't wait quite long enough for my one hand to finish activating before I used the top coat, and my top coat brush got a little bit hard, but the kit, and I forgot to tell you guys about the kit, but I will in a second. But the kit came with like a whole bunch of extra brushes for your liquids. So even if the brush doesn't get 
less hard I can switch it out for a new brush so yeah let's talk about the kit thing for a little bit okay so I'm interrupting myself because I realized that the footage I took of the actual kit when it came to me in the mail somehow got deleted off of my camera so I'm gonna show you guys what the kit looks like so this is how the kit came to me except it had like their brand name uh, paper logo thing with an instruction pamphlet which don't know if I still have that or not. I think I lost it. If not, Aria might have taken it. No idea. But it did have a little piece of paper in here explaining to you step by step how to do your nails with their products. Uh, but as you can see in here, they have... Wow, my living room is really messy right now. <laughs> anyway, you can see they have all the six colors in there along with all of the liquids. And then when you turn it in the back... Whoop, whoop, you can see that they have the brush in there, nail file, cuticle pusher, and then I'll open it up and show you my favorite thing that came in the kit. This OPI brush tipped, um, what's this stuff called? Cuticle oil, that's it. You just literally click it like a pen, like turn it in the back and click it, and then just brush it onto your cuticles. It's amazing, I love it. I normally, I've never seen it like that before and I really like it. But then, also the brush is nice. Don't have any complaints about this brush, woo. Nail file, average nail file, works fine for me. It's a lot better than a lot of the cheap ones you get at Target. And then the cuticle pusher is actually really nice. Like the actual cuticle pusher end is way better than any of them that I've even tried so far. So it's like a definite like must have with the kit like don't not use this and think that it's just a cheap add-on because you just wanted to try like the cute glittery powder definitely use this cuticle pusher if you get this kit because it is amazing and then the liquids um all the liquids they have they have a primer primer i'm not going to show you all of them picking them up like that but that's what they look like they have a primer a base coat an activator a top coat and a brush saver pretty average for liquids five liquids, six powders, and I do want to show you, I did swatch all the colors out so you can see what all the colors look like, not just what the colors that I used looks like. Okay, so here are all the swatched colors. So you have a rainbowy type of clearish glitter, so you can see that one, then the black, then the glitter that I have on my fingers, which is really pretty, then a white, and then you have like a neutral-ish grayish really pretty glitter that's really classy and then you have a really bright really fine sparkly silver and I really like that one too. Let me show you guys against a neutral background here what they all look like. They're really pretty colors. And now the other thing I will say is that it's kind of hard to tell what the colors are with the pictures that you see on the Amazon, what, what they're advertising, like the colors that they're advertising look a little bit different than the colors you get. So I recommend just going down to the comment section or to the review section and looking through the pictures of the people who bought the products so you can kind of see what the colors are gonna look like when you get them. Um, but yeah, that's what's in the kit. And now you can go back to my old self sitting in front of the garage. But the only thing I guess I would say is that I wish that they had a clear powder that came with it because I had to use a different brand's clear. And then I also wish that they sold the liquids separately than the kits because I want to buy more liquids or I'd like them to sell individual powders so I can buy like another one of their glitters that they have but you have to buy everything in a kit and that's a little bit annoying. I mean it's definitely worth it because I think it's really nice product especially if you're just starting out and you don't want to invest in a whole bunch of stuff like a a nail light and a and gel polish and you want shiny nails right away and you just kind of want to test it out and see if you like dipping your nails then this is definitely the kit to get this is absolutely the kit you should get if you're starting out and you're not sure if you're gonna like it i recommend this kit 100 percent let me know if you guys have any questions about this thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in a couple weeks for another nail video and i'll see you next week for another video thank you guys for watching keep smiling keep finding the joy thanks guys bye so this is how the kit came and it kit came stay had the kit came kit came this is how the kit came kit came okay but look at my hair guys i love my hair Malachi doesn't like it when mommy's silly. 
I like my hair. I like my, I like my, I like my hair. Do you want